Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Shippo as a beginner to simplify your shipping needs. So let's get into it. First up, you are going to sign up for free on Shippo and over here you're going to put in your personal details and once I create my account, I'm going to come back to you guys. So once you've filled in your details about your uh, personal info, then you're going to be greeted with this dashboard. And you might be wondering what exactly Shippo is used for because it's not your e-commerce store, nor is it your domain partner or web hoster. So what is Shippo? Well, Shippo is a shipping platform that simplifies your e-commerce processes. By integrating Shippo into your shopping cart or online store, you can easily import orders, purchase shipping labels, and print packing slips. So Shippo really directly just handles all of your shipping needs and organizes all of your shipping information into one place. And as you can see over here, the orders dashboard over here, you are going to connect your online e-commerce store that that you have so it might be on Shopify Wix or you can see if you click over here you can see all the additional platforms that are available and if you still don't have your e-commerce platform available in this you can actually request a platform from Shippo and over here you can upload your customer orders in a single CSV file so you don't have to do manual entries on your shipping labels and constantly have to upload the same thing over and over again you can bulk upload on Shippo using their free trial and you don't have to pay for Shippo which is a great great thing because shipping management softwares and programs aren't as readily available as the rest of e-commerce is so over here you can see this is your all so over here you're going to see all of your orders that are present and here you will see your unfulfilled orders so orders that haven't been shipped and here you will see your fulfilled orders if you take a look at the left side you will see your shipments so you can keep track of your shipments over here in this tab and this will provide you with basic detailed analytics of your shipments and you can filter out your shipments using the date. Below that you have your analytics which are very very important as you know and you can track your analytics of the past week, month, two months or however much time you want to do. You can custom select the time and you can see the number of labels purchased, your total shipping spending and your average price per package. Below that you have your personal account settings and below that you have your help center. So coming back to the orders platform of Shippo, over here you can see you're going to create your label. So once you create a standard label, this will be applied to the rest of your label. So your sender address, as you can see over here, I'm just going to fill it out as a sample for you guys. And once you fill that out, you don't have to retype it and redo it all over again. You can just enter the recipient address and you can get going with your orders. So. You're just gonna fill this out and over here you can see the option of saving this as the default sender address so automatically Shippo will refill this uh, every time you're about to send or create a new label and over here you're going to add your recipients details and once you do that you're going to click on next order details so however many items they have ordered and then you can create your label so once you have clicked on that green button, you're going to be greeted on this page where you're going to select if you're going to opt out of customs. So if the shipment is international, you can opt out of customs. So the receiver will actually be paying your customs. That just depends on your company policy. Below that, you're going to add your package dimensions. These can be custom dimensions or a carrier provided parcel. So if you're using UPSP, then there can be a specific box that they provide and that is what you are using. You're just going to enter that those dimensions over here. Below that, you're going to have your recipient and sender address. And now you can see the cheapest or the fastest delivery rates that are available and you can purchase them accordingly. So you're just going to click on buy and that will be it for your order. So you're just going to build them using your MasterCard, Visa, Discover or American Express. So these are the only four payment options that are available on GoShippo. Now, coming back to our 
original dashboard actually you can see over here i can see on my orders now that this order is present and once i will ship it it will also become present in my shipments list over here so once it will be shipped it'll be present over here but before that it's going to be on my orders list and now taking a deeper dive into goshippo.com uh, you're going to go into settings and you're going to see on the left side it says integrations and over here, you can actually view the carriers that are provided by Shippo. So you can see that Shippo has UPS and it usually provides up to 62% of discounts. They also have USPS and you can get access to a 90% discount using UPSPS using the GoShippo application. You can also use LSO for international shipping. You have UPS, USPS, DHL Express. For Canada, you have Canada Post. For Europe, you have Duchess Post and Parcel Force. For Australia, you have Fastway Australia, Sendel, and Couriers, please. So it does provide you with a wide range of carriers for your shipment. And you can see they're separated by the area that they are serving. So that is pretty great to know. And you can actually deactivate them if you don't have a personal, if you don't have a good experience with a certain courier then you can just deactivate them and you won't be able to see any of the offers or even if they are the cheapest or fastest available they just won't show up in your account below that you also have your apis in go shippo so api can actually automate your shipping process and make it so much more easier with a single integration so you can build your live tokens here and test your tokens over here and below that you have your webhooks so yeah that is it and below that you have your apps so if you have integrated apps on go shippo these will appear over here below that you have your company configurations addresses labels packages tracking page notifications and automation so over here you can add your specific company details and these will be used all of your packing slips that are going to be used so you don't have to retype and do that kind of a repetitive work again and again and below that you have your addresses so whatever kind of addresses that you use most often you can just enter them over here and these can be set as your defaults or your basic addresses that you can just select from below that you have your labels so you can have a standard kind of label and a default label basically for your shipments if there is a certain amount of information that you always need to have on your label and what kind of label you want if it's going to be in a single page format if you want a thermal label printer if you want it in a pdf or a image form you can just select that from here Below that you have packages and you can set a default weight unit. So if there is a certain weight that is always going to be of your packages, for example, it could be half a kilo, then you're just gonna enter 0.5 kilograms and this will automatically be printed on all of your shipments. After that, you need to have a pro plan to actually get access to the tracking page on GoShippo. And next you have your notifications. So anything that is important, uh, you can notify your customers through this notification panel and you can email them and you can have automatic email notifications for your customers. So if there are shipment updates, you can automate them and send them to your customers via email without having a third party application but just by using GoShippo. And now at the end, you have your automations. So automations are very helpful, but they are only available in the premium plan of GoShippo. So this was a general overview of the GoShippo account and how to set it up and what it will look like for a beginner. Now, coming back to their basic website, I'm gonna take a look at their pricing and show you guys what different kinds of pricing plans that they provide. So first up, they have the free one, as I said earlier. This is a pretty great option if you're just getting started. Next up, they have the professional, which starts at $10 a month. And then they just have the premier program in which it is going to be a custom program according to your needs. So first off, what is in the starter and what is in the professional? There are no monthly subscription fees. You get no per label fee with Shippo's default carriers. You have the best UPS 
DHL discounts, you have email and live chat support, and you get five cents per label with your own connected carrier accounts. For the uh, professional plan available on GoShippo, you get a 30-day free trial, there are no label fees, you get the best DHL UPS discounts, and the best feature in the professional or the express or whatever you want to call this program is the automations. So a lot of your work is going to be reduced by significantly by the automations that are provided by GoShippo. And you will also get a branded customer experience. So everything that your company is going to be putting out to your customers will actually feel like it's all from the same brand. It's all very interlinked. The aesthetic and the general appeal, the style of everything will be very similar and will give your branding a whole level up compared to the free version where everything will look a bit more standard, a bit more chalky, a bit more basic. Also on the professional plan, you will get a five user account. So you can have up to five users using the same account for the management of your business. So that was it for GoShippo and I hope you guys found this helpful and now understand how you can set up your account and how it is worth it or not for you to subscribe to GoShippo. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.